Guys, so let's try this configuration running down with the Dupac ball, second in length ball. That's it. Now I'm looking for my way, I'm just on a small path and since I've been paying attention to the camera of course I've lost a little bit my way so I see where I am it's just that I would have to go back to get to the path and I hope this one takes me where I want the problem is there is quite some change in height here so, and I don't know where this path going so I just hope it goes where I want but it problem is also there's lots of bad ah bad plants here I have to find a way out in the meantime that's what I do even when I'm lost Take a picture. If you don't do it, you just lose it. Uh, okay, let's keep going a little bit. See where this one leads. Okay, let's see. I'll probably have to get back. I think so because it doesn't look like it go. It goes where I want it to go. Really the bad conditions for not being sure about the way. Now you can see here how difficult it is to run in certain conditions, especially when, as now, the path is really narrow, really small. There is lots of plants that, and I can easily get a nice little wound not speaking of falling if I don't pay attention stuff like that it would be quite nice if it happened on camera of course wouldn't it so it looks good not exactly where I wanted this is really not the kind of path I like this is too steep and it's easy. Yes. We're out. Oh man. I hate these things. And now what? Nowhere. Okay. Now I must go that way, so I just hope that this doesn't end in nothing. That would be the worst because there's no no way out around here. I can see. Yeah. You can see that when there are trees or an obstacle, I have to turn myself. That's the only way to avoid hitting it with the camera. So it's a funny little way of running, and you have to be aware of the camera as an external element, like you would be if you were driving a truck. 
so I tend to say that I'm driving a truck and it's perfect the path is good and it's taking me where I wanted to so I'm really happy now and now you can see the difference when you actually can run it's not exactly the same speed as you can see from the shaking my backpack feels really light I think I got used to it and also it might be quite light okay. now the risk with running like this on this small path is that actually yes we're back on the real path and the risk with this is that whenever there is something across the path, especially some plants with stings, well, I get, I get it. Ooh, this is electrical, there is a spark. It's written down that it's electrical, but it's funny here. You can see the spark <laughs> when you put it back down. I got stung by an electric fence once, a few days ago. I really didn't like it. It wasn't really strong, but it didn't feel good. I think that's what it's intended for. Lots of fences around here, basically, because there's lots of sheep, cows, I think. I saw some. So, it's that kind of grazing hills. Yeah, what's with that? It's like the third or fourth insect that gets into my ear after I get it out. What's going on? Yeah, that's the kind of small narrow path that is quite technical to get through. And you have to really pay attention because there's lots of people details here. Not much placed menu there. I tend to accentuate my breathing when I go down. Mainly because my heart spikes. And also, it's helping me when sharp, fast breathing actually allows me to relieve the pressure on my stomach when I go down. see the road so for today we are back on the road Emma, it's almost over for me now all I have to do is follow the road so I hope to see you soon and please enjoy your days <laughs>